All right, we're going to be working with Notability, which you'll see right here on the right. That's an, uh, an icon with the pencil and the microphone. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And what pops up are my classes with addition to Spanish, uh, because that's uh, kind of my example for today. But I want to show you how to add a class. So I'd like for you to start out today with adding a class. So click the plus button, which is right here. When you click the plus button, let's go ahead and add English. Type in English here and click on subject and notice that English pops up. So this is an addition to all our classes, which is pretty cool. This is a part of your library in Notability. So you can not only take notes in Notability, which is great, but you can also annotate PDFs, which I will show you in just a short bit. Let's go ahead and create a new note. So I clicked on create a new note, and if you look at the top here, here are your key features. The T is your text. The P is a pencil, so you can write with that. This is a highlighter. Here's an eraser, and here are the scissors that allow you to cut things out. Let me show you the text. So when I click the T, what allows uh, that allows me to use write text in uh, the text box, which is pretty cool. That's great, right? Uh, but let's say I want to add some handwriting to that, so I can click that handwriting tool, so I can sign my name on things, I can write hello, let's say that's also too big, so I can hold down on that, I can change the size, so if you notice that that's much thinner, I could also change the color, so I can do that, which is pretty cool. Let's say I want to highlight one of those items and say, well, here's the highlighting tool so I'll highlight the text uh, I like hello but I don't like anything else right so I want to get rid of all that that's where the eraser comes in click the eraser I can erase that I can erase that and there it goes and why not let's just go ahead and erase that oh but let's say I don't like that so I can click the back button there was a black back button then I change my mind click on the scissors here's the scissors Go ahead and circle that up and just say cut and there it goes away, which is pretty cool. So there's a lot that you can do with the note taking, but I think the key function is importing PDF. So I'm going to click the home button on my iPad. That takes me back to the home screen. I'm going to click on iTunes University where I've uploaded a lot of my documents. I'm going to click on the cost of driving. This is something that I've uploaded and something that relates to my AP and Bible Science class. So what I could do here is uh, look at this and say like, okay, this is a document, it's a Word document, how can I use this in Notability? The key is this little uh, icon that you've often seen, the square with the arrow coming out of it. When I click that, I can say I'm going to open that in Notability. And when I do that, you're going to see a window kind of like this, converting cost of driving or whatever you are, or whatever you're doing, I'm going to go ahead and say create a new note and click OK. And what's going to happen is this is going to pop up. So now I can actually begin to annotate that. So I can write my name here. Okay, say Jaden. Here, here we go. Let's say I don't want that in red anymore. I want this in back black. Okay, there it is. Let's say that's too big. Let's let's get rid of that. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and click that um, scissors and say cut. Notice that none of the text goes away. It's just what I've added to it. That's the genius about Notability. Notice here on the bottom right, here's this little uh, box that's got a magnifying glass and these three lines. This is a wonderful tool. If I click the magnifying glass, that will open up a window that will allow me to drag this over to a very specific spot. I could even shrink this up, so make this kind of small. And I can write my name down here at the bottom. Let's say, here we go, J-A-B-I-N. And notice it's very large at the bottom. Okay, but when I get rid of that, it fits in nicely right in that box. It's a fantastic tool. Then I can I can click this, it goes away, and I can look at the rest of the problem. Okay. 
so I can look at these things. I can I can say to maybe my students like highlight some of the important key terms. So maybe uh, 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 some of the key terms would be a thousand miles per month or twenty miles per gallon. Uh, maybe I want them to focus on a certain things. So I'm like do this problem right there. It's great to annotate, and if I would like to even add some vo vocal or audio, I can click on that button at the top. You can see that right there is recording my voice, and it's fantastic. I can click stop. That even pauses it, and it picks right back up where I've left off to, which is fan. That's a fantastic tool. And once again, if I want to erase all of these things, all I have to do is erase use the erase button, there things go, and it doesn't ruin anything in that document. So what happens? Well, let's say once I'm done uh, with my document, I'm going to go ahead and as, as sign my name again. Here's Javen. Okay, I'm going to say I'm so, uh, I have no idea what this problem is, but I want to turn it in anyways to show that I've turned it in. I click on this button. This is that send button. Click on this. And I say I want to email that, and I can email PDF and email those notes. Click email, and what happens is I can send that to my teacher. Let's say uh, my teacher is, in fact, Edith Stone. Or I'll just pick, oh, there she goes. There's Edith. And then I can send that, and there we go. So uh, this is Notability. It's a fantastic tool. Uh, remember, these are your key elements. The T is text. This is the pencil, which allows you to write the highlighter, the eraser, and the scissors. This allows you to send it uh, once you've uh, completed your Notability document. And anytime you want to go back to your library, that is the button you want to click. Okay, so I hope that helps. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at jabin underscore Berwick at mcs.k12.in.us. Thanks.